Okay. Uh, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you should start from there. Should we just start from there? Start yeah. From there. Should we just actually start from start, there? Start that. Let's don't, start from there, but I'll say it anyway. Don't cut it. I'll say it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sol, don't cut this for us then, if that's all right. Uh, welcome to the Side Cabin Podcast, episode 19. Ooh, hey. Nice. 19? 19. 19. Mm. What's the significance, anybody? Average age of the US soldier in Vietnam. Correct. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Combat soldier. Yeah. Combat, so combat soldier. Combat yeah. soldier, yeah. 19. Do you remember when you were 19, Danny? What were you up to? What were you doing? 30 years ago. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30, 20, years 20 years ago. 20 years ago. 21. Yeah, we should say Danny's 40 tomorrow. Tomorrow, big 4 0. Yeah. yeah. You old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, no. But yeah, the thing, but think back to you when you were 19, what was going down? Just finishing, so 19, uh, 16, 17, 18, just finishing my apprenticeship, I think, actually. Yeah. So, at Stockport College. Stockport College. And then, yeah. Shout out to Stockport College. Stockport College, yeah. 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 Um, I just finished my apprenticeship, and then, yeah, going out, going out like in the big wide world on my own. Well, nice. not on my own, I was working for a company, but. That was um, that was the start. Nineteen, nineteen episodes. Yeah, yeah, nineteen episodes. That Andy, nineteen memories of nineteen. Uh, dropped out of uni, became a porter. Nice. I remember dad having a. I remember dad having a massive go at you for that. Yes, I just don't want to. I'm fat enough. Yeah. Fat were they enough. how far up were they building them when you? were... You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How far? They were just doing the capstone. Uh, for those who are you listening, the, um, Danny was pointing to the pyramids. But yeah. like the apocalypse guy, he did it all in a day. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. you mean from X Men? Yeah, yeah, he just did it. He all did. Yeah, yeah. Jack, nineteen. That's not that long ago for you. No, but I remember it very well. So Can't. you're twenty five now. But the day of my nineteenth birthday was the same day as the uh, England Croatia World Cup semi final. Oh, yeah. nice. That was on the day of my nineteenth. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. Kieran Trippier when he scored that free kick. Yes, that was a great goal. And then we lost. Was it Modric? We lost in extra time. Yeah, I think it was, um, was it Pulisic. Pulisic, yeah. Or, 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 I can't one. remember. It's two one. Yeah, we should have. We should have won that game. Basically, from that 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 Kieran Trippier free kick was like the peak of my life, and it's been all downhill since then. <laughs> was Jermaine Jenner playing? For the game? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think he just retired. I think he just retired. Oh, oh, I think Danny's yeah. saying that because there's some news that's broke just today on Twitter yeah. about uh, yeah. Jermaine Jenner, which we'll, we'll probably avoid if you don't yeah, mind. I think, yeah, for yeah, the yeah, podcast, yeah. for that, if that's okay. The Croatian team. Yeah, noticed. Does all of their surnames end with itch? Itch, yeah. yeah. Sure it is. I suppose Probably that's that's a bit like. I mean, that's just the like like Mac for Scott Smith. Yeah, like, Smith. exactly. Yeah. We've all, yeah. all countries have their kind of yeah. Have to look into uh, sort of surname or names what, that end in what like, would you call stuff. it? Yeah. yeah, and stuff. Endings. Yeah. Mm. Chinese have you know a Jackson, certain John Lee. I think there's a lot of Lees, yeah. isn't there? And like yeah. you know, yeah. Americans they they have they have first names as surnames, don't they? Yeah, like. Yeah. Jazz Michael Michelson or something. <laughs> Jack Johnson and Jack Johnson. <laughs> yeah. John Jackson. John Jackson. Yeah. 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 And um, I can't think of another one. <laughs> Chester Cheeseburger and all yeah. that type of stuff. Chester yeah. Cobblepot. Yeah. Cobble what was pot. that? Was it Goonies? Goonies. Goonies, Goonies. Goonies yeah. Um, what was you doing at 19, though? 19. Oh. Married yeah. with three kids. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not far off. Yeah. Not far off. I was with, I was, uh, yeah, I was with Jack's mum. Um, I think uh, I was living at Jack's mum's house. And yeah, I don't really know. I can remember we went to watch Stockport County play Middlesbrough away. Uh -huh. And my car broke down on the way back from Middlesbrough. It sat on fire. And I managed to get it going and get it back home. And it never started again from that trip. So it basically got us to Middlesbrough and back. Yeah. Um, it was when like Ravenelli was playing for Middlesbrough. And yeah. All yeah. Good side. Silver yeah. Really yeah. Good side. Yeah. yeah. Brian Robson Did. was manager. Brian Robson was manager. Yeah. yeah. And it was the yeah. semi final of the League, League Cup, Cup, I think it was. Yeah. They had a, did they play him? Did they play him at Edgeley Park? Two legs. Yeah. Two legs. No, yeah. it was. Yeah. Because um, that's a really famous year because Middlesbrough, it's like it's. Didn't they have Gaza? Middlesbrough had, no, that was the year before, but yeah. they had like the unluckiest, they yeah. lost the League Cup final and the FA Cup yes. final yeah. and got relegated all in the same season. I'll tell you, I, I went to Middlesbrough once, got arrested. Hmm. Oh yeah, what did you get arrested for, Dan? I can't really say. Yeah. But it, I, it was nothing bad. 
Yeah, nothing like... Well, it, your arrest lasted for about an hour, didn't it? it I got arrested for yeah. about 30 minutes. I think yeah. we were going <laughs> He said, Can, we're going to have to take a photo of you. They asked me if I've got anything else of this substance on me. And I went... I want to see a brief. Know. And they said, where did you buy it from? And I said, my mate. <laughs> and they said, well, where's your mate? And I went, don't know. And did you have to go up there, back up there for the court? No, 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 that was it. They just it's gave like me a, something. I probably yeah. was posted, but I would say, but. Never been arrested. Yeah. It was quite fun, really. Seeing, yeah. See what it was like. Just yeah. say, talk did, about a friend of ours... They were went to an away game in Norwich, didn't they? Yes, I was at and that then, game. But they had to go back again to Norwich. They absolutely they? did, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Paul and Ian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, although Ian swears blind that he didn't get arrested, but I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. Uh, it was just for like drunk and disorderly outside a match. They weren't doing anything. They, yeah. I don't know what. They anyway, just sat on the they curb. Got, they got nicked and um, yeah. and uh, yeah, they, they got fined and then they got home and then they had to go all the way back to Norwich for the for the court case or, what, hearing, or, or, or the hearing the or whatever hearing not a court yeah, case like the hearing this. yeah uh, obviously we're not condoning um, oh no any we'll sort of uh, no, arrestable we'll behaviour no. on the Psychabin no. podcast no. <laughs> so some of it's funny though. some of it is funny yeah so yeah um, episode 19 so after this episode it'll be 19 pr- just about 19 hours worth of um, recording Obviously, the next episode is the 20th. Mm. This is a big one for us because it's kind of the end of season two, even though season two's kind of taken us probably by about 18 months, basically, to do, really. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, it's almost a momentous occasion, but not quite, if you know mm. what I mean. Not quite. Uh, so, since we last recorded, you can react to this. Um, we've had a Euros and we've lost in the final. Again, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've had an election and got a new prime minister yeah. and a new government. Um, we've had riots, yeah, yeah, major riots throughout the UK. Um, and we also had an American president that got uh, almost assassinated in an assassination attempt, yeah, since we That's last recorded. Been a few months, hasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. I think it was six weeks, is it? I yeah. think all of that happened because we didn't make an episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is exactly yeah, it. Went crazy. Went mental because we didn't. Yeah. So where do you yeah. want to begin? Which one do you want to begin with? Euros. I mean, the last episode was a Euro special, so I suppose we've got to mention it quickly. Yeah. 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 All, all I'll say Continuity, is that we've got to, yeah. Yeah. Spain were better. That's yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, in the final, they Spain were the better team, best team of the tournament. They yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they were. They, they were miles better team. Yeah, yeah. they were. They were I think, a bit. A bit. I don't think everybody else was. I, don't, I think we were like everybody else. But, we were just all, you know, a bit, uh, yeah. I thought Germany Great. were good. I thought Germany were very good. They're going to be good for the next World Cup. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and obviously, I should mention at this point, we, we've lost our England manager now. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I think he's the right yeah. right time. He's done a good job. Done a bit, but, yeah. You should right praise time. him. I know one of our brothers, Mike, he... Mike hates him. Hates him. He hates him, but doesn't no, he? he's he's... But, he's to what, what, what happened when he first got there to where he's changed yeah. life, well, speak, speaking of sports sorry we had the Olympics as well oh shit we had the yeah. Olympics as well you're absolutely yeah. right yeah, yeah we'll, we'll mention that in a minute yeah, yeah. Um, okay that's Euros done election what do we think about that yeah. just glad they're out <clears throat> yeah glad they're out Tories yeah. out yeah I'm glad they were out wasn't any surprise was it no no. Yeah. No. no no it was it was called weeks and we, even the even Rishi called it weeks before yeah they knew yeah they all knew so he's got to go he's yeah got, Rishi 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 basically fell on his sword didn't he when he came back from the was it the Normandy um, yeah memorial that was a bad call that he came back from that and basically that was him yeah. sort of saying I've I balls it up big yeah. time here that was a bad call <clears throat> it was wasn't it bad actually bad call. I did like he had a good to be fair, he had a decent concession speech. He just said, you know, that's it, handing it over. He did, now. yeah. I've, I've got to say, we, we don't really talk about it enough, our democracy, but it's like our election. It's like six weeks, job Gone. done, next lot yeah. in. Out. Out. And in, out. In America, it seems to last forever. Well, it's just yeah. a show, isn't it? Let's it move on to that then. So yeah. obviously, uh, uh, <laughs> I do a rubbish impression. <laughs> I, I, uh, <sighs> see, I Jack, Jack yeah. does the best, best Trump impression, but... There's been an attempt on my life. <laughs> <laughs> He's the greatest sniper. He was the greatest sniper ever in the history of snipers. I mean, it was just mad, wasn't it? I, it I, was. I was actually, um, was it on a Saturday night? It, or, or Sunday? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. The yeah. family yeah. WhatsApp group. Yeah. Yeah. It was the day before yeah. the no, final. So I, yeah. I, I was watching just, I was bored yeah. out of my head, flicking through. And I just flicked through like the Sky News and B or whatever. And I was like, that's got to be a joke. And then someone put something no, on the... Jack, oh, you yeah. put on the you WhatsApp were Jack, group, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, fucking hell. I know. And at literally the same time you'd message. And I was a bit like, fucking hell, someone's tried to shoot him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is... And it's, we're close as well. well. It was 
you know, I was nothing. I think it was a head turn, really. It was, yeah. From being, from being dead. Yeah. You know, if he kept his head straight, it had killed him. If he turned and it took his part of his ear off. I mean, and then this conspiracy theory saying that it's faked and all this. It's f- no, and, 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 all, and all this no, sort of stuff. But, but the guy was just some random bloke with a gun that climbed up on a yeah. roof and like surrounded by that bit's a bit dodgy for me. Like, how how's that been allowed to happen? It wasn't I, far. You know, my thing about incompetence. Yeah, is, I, yeah. I always go down yeah. to the rule of incompetence. Yeah, and people not taking responsibility. Yeah, but they're, they're, that, that's the mean, one though. job that you can't afford to be incompetent <laughs> know, in yeah, no. when you're a bodyguard yeah. or a, as a, what do you call them? Um, secret, secret secret service. Secret service. Yeah, yeah secret service. Yeah. Do you know what though? He, he loved it, didn't he? When oh, he got up yeah. and he was like, when he did I, that I, fight, I say, fight, fight. Did he? he loved that it. was pretty iconic when he did that. It was yeah. iconic. You know, love him or hate him. Yeah, it was. He's just moment. been shot. At. He's yeah. no, he's not been shot. At. He's, been, he's shot. been shot. Yeah. yeah. I'm no big fan of Trump. He no. makes me laugh, in, but I'm not a fan of his... But his instincts. But, yeah, exactly. To do... Yeah. And in the recordings, as he goes down behind the podium, oh, yeah, he's yeah. saying, get me my shoes. <laughs> get me my shoe. I've lost my shoe. <laughs> Buy me my shoe. <laughs> it, it, it is a, yeah, it's an incredible moment, yeah, actually, I think. I don't, I don't think we ever thought... Because we all grew up with hearing, like... The yeah, on, you know Kennedy. Kennedy and yeah. When it happened to Ronald Reagan in the eighties, yeah. and with you know other other countries, but yeah, seeing it in our own lifetimes is a pretty, it's still a pretty surreal thing to yeah. actually watch it. Yeah. I mean, especially when you think we could be sitting here talking about an, a, a former president that's been assassinated. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. It's, it's, God only knows how that would yeah. have gone. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in the news. Something just springs to mind at the moment. Obviously, we've got to be careful what we say as well, but. um just, just last few days, obviously that boat's gone down. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. with the uh, uh, sort of weather event that it was the tech tech guy, the tech, tech guy, yeah, it's awful. yeah. And I mean, I'm obviously not going to state anything, but he just come out of a court case where he was found innocent of multi billion dollar fraud. Fraud, thing. but he's innocent. But yes. his partner, who was also at the court case, was run over and killed a few days earlier. Yes, yeah, so it's mad. But that was the, the, the talking. Very that was that was in Britain, and she was she. Uh, they know the woman who was doing it. She was driving the car. Yeah, and it was a, a freak. But I know what you mean. It's but when things things happen I, like I, that, I'm certainly not casting any aspersions. But certain things happen. You, you sort of go, hang on a minute. Is that? I don't know. Is yeah. I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to. I've got to be careful. We've got to be careful. Well, I remember. Yeah. Jack, I think you said once about somebody's mentioned about the Kennedy assassination, but then they mentioned right Reagan. He was nearly killed. Yeah. But nobody's got any conspiracy theories for a near miss. Yeah, when something doesn't something go doesn't through. Something doesn't go through. Conspiracies Good don't point. really come up. Uh, yeah. I saw a great documentary on Oswald a few weeks ago. Oswald! Now, <laughs> it's like a two-hour one. It's like an old one for the BBC about 25 years ago. And it's brilliant. Those yeah. are always the best ones. They're really, yeah. really good, but... I mean, we've he was got, a, he's a strange guy. He was a really strange guy. I know, don't want to go d- too far down the rabbit hole. Maybe we could save it for a future podcast. Yeah. I don't know. But um, we've got our own conspiracy theories in the UK with Diana and mm-hmm. yeah. sort of, yeah. you know, uh, was was the driver drunk? Was he? Was there a white Fiat Uno involved? And know, all yeah. of this sort of stuff. Yeah. And yeah, there's, there's loads in there. I mean, how many uh, American presidents have been assassinated? That's four. Mad. Four, is it four? Well, these are quite a four, few attempts. Four, there's four. Been four that were killed and there's probably there's like five, but six others that were attempted. shot at yeah. or shot. Was Trump the seventh? Well, Assass- he, he wasn't attempt. president at the attempt. time, yeah. but... Yeah, well, yeah. But that's that's yeah. happened before. There's been former presidents yeah. that were targeted. Yeah, well, uh, Teddy Ro- Roosevelt. Ro- Robert Kennedy was yeah. not not former president, but he was... He'd won the primary. He'd won the primary. He, the primary. he was about the to... They reckon yeah. he was going to be president. California basically. primary. Yeah, yeah. Um, Moving swiftly on then to the riots... Um, in the UK, because obviously that's something else that's happened since we've last recorded. I don't know what anyone wants to think of the riots, uh, but obviously we've got to be careful. I don't want to, it was a terrible, terrible thing that, what, what, that I don't know, that caused the riots, what, I what, suppose, or that caused yeah. the people to be so angry. But I think the riots then took it to a different place, it didn't they? It got twisted. It got twisted yeah. all that shit. Yeah, it got a bit... You know, like looting Greggs, for example. What was that mean? That's not in the name of, of, of them yeah. poor children that, that yeah. what happened to them, is it? Mm. I, ju- I just think when things like that person, I think it's just a time for yeah. sorrow. Yeah, exactly. For the poor families who lost their yeah. children. And yeah, a bit it's more... It's awful. Yeah. Whoever's done it, hope they get... I'll be honest, I'd just kill them. But yeah. 
that's what I'd do. It's when you wish the death penalty was sort of still about yeah, it, stuff I suppose. Like that. I just, mm. it's, 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 mm. That's my personal opinion, but I don't think everyone else would jump on the bandwagon. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, they get, get stirred up into something. It's yeah, yeah, you're just stirring up hatred. Yeah. I saw a great meme, though. It was a picture of a guy who's a handful of sausage rolls, and yeah. he was like... Um, I can't remember the exact meme now, what it actually said, but it was like, uh, uh, it's not saving the world one sausage roll at a time, but like, um, you know, fighting against whatever it was, the issue, one sausage roll at a time. And that's like the ridiculousness of it, isn't it? Pretty basically? strange to go after uh, Greg's as well, because there isn't, they don't have much value on like the black market or anything. How, dare, either. Yeah. how dare you attack you've Greg's? Got, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to uh, get it's that. It's consumables. Uh, yeah. You, yeah on, if, if you it goes from, out of date. Yeah, if you steal from Greg's, <laughs> yeah, you've quickly. only got a short space of time to yeah, use like that load of, yeah. Like yeah. a load of boxes of beats or something, is it? Something like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, exactly. Or trainers or something. Yeah. 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 Cigarettes. You know, just going back to rights, you know what was a lovely moment though? The, I think it was the, one or two days after one of the riots, just talking about construction, yeah. there was a bloke there, a uh, bricklayer. I saw it at the mosque. Yeah. And at the mosque. It's fantastic. And he was like, I want to Unbelievable. The walls. Yeah. And he was trying to be, this reporter was trying to speak to him. Unbelievable. Like, I'm, busy. I'm busy. Leave me alone. Just go away. He was great. Moment. They had the whole front wall smashed in, didn't they, yeah. by the rioters? Yeah. yeah. And he said, the next day, there was a team people. of, I presume, local builders yeah. and people, local people from, there all helping out. Yeah. You're right, actually. And it was great. And he was just this bricklayer. And he was like, yeah, you're right. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He was basically saying, look, mate, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the way. I often think about that, actually. Funny enough, that's just sparked something. You know, when you see that programme... Um, Oh, uh, I always cry at this. Like Ground Force type of thing. No. The Ground Force, what's it called? Yeah, I know which one you mean. You know, DIY SOS. DIY SOS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he does a shout out to the local yeah. structured yeah. community. He says, can anybody help us out? And everything. Yeah. Yeah. I've often thought like, if that was in my community, I, I've often thought Do I would go. Yeah. I would go and give them a day or two yeah. days or whatever. I can't, can't watch that. No, you're, you're yeah. a crier, aren't you? Oh, yeah. let, me, let me tell you this then. When, you get, when you get to 40 and above, you cry more. You cry more. You do. I hope this podcast gets sponsored by <laughs> me next. <laughs> I cry at adverts, films. Yeah. Everything. I've always found that show difficult. Yeah, it is. It's a great it's a great show actually, but it's one of them shows that you think like it's like where for the grace of God go the grace of God go out yeah, because the, the situation mean. that them families are in. Oh, some of them. The, mm. I remember the one that got me the most. It was on um, this electrician I'd had like a terrible accident at work. And he was disabled. He'd left disabled in a wheelchair and other like neck paralyzed. I think it was neck problems. There was he had the poor guy had loads of problems, and basically all his ex joiners, brickies, who he'd all worked for, oh, plasterers, all came round and redid his house. Oh, and he had, like beautiful. accessible toilets and beautiful. It was and, and I was in. Bits. And the thing is, more often than not, not always, but more often than not, the people's they were having the houses done tend to be like people that are in construction, perhaps. Mm that have gone on hard times medically yeah. or family issues yeah. or whatever, and they've not finished the job that they started, if you like, yeah, yeah. or that they wanted to yeah, do. Yeah. So the house is in a complete turmoil because they're quite away through the extension or whatever it is that they're, mm. they're sort of halfway through. It was and then, sorry, Dan, when most builders look at their own house, you probably think, that's my house now, yeah, basically. <laughs> it, it was always a funny show, though, because it also showed, like the realistic things of arguments with that. They show like the electrician and joiner having a yeah, rowing stud walls or plasterboard yeah, or, yeah, or plaster saying, I can't, I've got to finish this. I'll cut it through. It was a show about being nice yeah. and helping people, but it also showed the realities in building that <laughs> it's a fucking argument. No, day. you're absolutely mm -hmm. bang on. It happens every day on site. Mm -hmm. Um, did you know this moving on to sort of so 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 just talk about the episode for today no real sort of subject matter really today we've just decided to go with a kind of uh no, no, few, no, no. A, a few no, 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 19 and a few bits of um i don't know whatever bits of information that are coming out here's one for you uh, that you can react to did you know there is a one day mvq uh i do What's i do know about it yeah, yeah there is a one day mvq so normally an MVQ in construction might take you 10, 12 weeks, up to six months maybe for a level two MVQ. There is an MVQ um, that's awarded by uh, the awarding body NOCN. It's called an Experienced Worker Practical Assessment. It's a UPAR, that's what it's called in the trade. But uh, when I say the trade, I mean the education trade, but it's actually, it's basically a one day practical assessment. So you could be a bricklayer, joiner, plasterer, painter, oh, 
that's worked for years and years and years, not got a qualification, go to a centre and do a one-day practical assessment where you've got to build a model in your trade area. Thank you very much. There's your MVQ. Is One this for like people who can't get CSCS cards? They haven't got the quals but, to get them. Yeah, like that. exactly that, Andy. It's, yeah. bas- it's, ba- it's basically that, but it's it's not just for that. It's for anybody. It's for anybody who has got, you've got to really have about five years experience in the trade to be able to do the qualification. But if you've got that experience, you can, mm. you can do, uh, you know, I mean, how good is that for people that are just on uh, site right now when the CSCS so card's running out? If you'd have asked me six years ago, I'd have gone, this is bollocks. What's all this about? That would have been my honest opinion. Yeah. And you will get a one day that. MVQ. That's bollocks. So you can't get an MVQ in a day and all that. When you actually have to see what you have to do, there is no way somebody who's not experienced can't do it. Yeah. So it is perfect, absolutely perfect for those people who've been doing the trades 10, 5, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years, who've been doing it a long time. Yeah. Might be that the. the qualifications have run out they've changed everything changes all the time yeah CSCS cards you know what's relevant not not it's the perfect thing to do for those people and anyone who says oh it's bollocks <laughs> go and do it then go and do the test <laughs> i agree and see if you can pass see it. if you can pass it yeah because yeah it's not i like know a one that day. test i yeah. can't really say too much about it but i know about it and i know that six years ago i'd have said this is bollocks yeah i've built that test yeah it's not how i got my qual but i've done it i've actually done it to try it myself and it is not an easy test. You've got to know what you're doing, which proves you're competent yeah. at what you're doing. And it's timed and it's under test conditions. Test conditions, your nerves. You've also got uh, other elements to it. That, can we? Yeah, there's a witness testimony there? that you've got to provide as well from like a, a supervisor that can testify to the fact that you've got five years experience. And there's a professional discussion with the assessor on the day. Now that's not easy. That, no, it's not. That, you know, anyone who's ever done a professional discussion in whatever yeah. trade you're in, yeah. if you ever sat there with an assessor on the phone or face-to-face or over Teams or whatever it is, I've seen grown men, no more than me, yeah. fall apart. Crack, when yeah. When I ask them, tell me, how to, 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 how, tell me how to make and fit a door lining. Yeah. Door lining. They fit a stud wall and they go to bits and they can't explain it. They can do it. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's not a, it's not just a for me. It's these people call it a one day. I think it's I, I think it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. I mean, it's a one day MVQ as long as you've got five years experience. Basically, yeah, it's, got, it's, not, it's got not like you learn it in a day. It's like you just no, you're pass not yeah. It's an exam. You're not, it's exam. You're not there. It's there's the no exam teaching. There's yeah, no it's the teaching exam involved. Yeah. It's, it's almost, assessment. You know, not yeah. like this, but it's almost like on site. Yeah. Right, you're a joiner, are you? There's your drawing. Go on. Yeah. Do it. Correct. It is. And, Essentially that. And they're in, it's in joinery, plastering, uh, bricklaying, painting and decorating and wall and floor tiling. Yeah. So uh, we're not we're not advertising it for anybody. We're just letting our learners, uh, learners? We're letting our listeners know that it's out there. And um, if uh, it's an option for you, if you're running out, it'll probably cost you 900 quid for the day, which sounds a lot, but if you get your MVQ in one day, and by the way, you can probably claim back 600 of that on the CITB levy. And again, yeah, we're not affiliated with anybody. We're not working for anybody. We're not. There's loads of different companies that do it. There's it? loads of different yeah. companies yeah, that do it up and down the UK. Yeah. And it, yeah. it's, it's definitely worth looking into, especially yeah. for those people. I, I don't want to sort of bring age into too much, but anyone sort of age between sort of 25 and maybe like 60, yeah. If not older, but or particularly anyone around 30 to 60 who... So you, outside, like you, because you're, you're 40 I'm tomorrow. Bang on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old bastard. You know. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting thing to look into. No, it is. It absolutely is. Uh, moving swiftly on. Bell mixers. Uh, okay. Right. I, 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 so for me, this is foreign. So I'm going to so sit back. I, I'm just going to clarify... Before we carry on, Bell Mixer, we call it a Bell Mixer, depending on where you are in the UK or wider, wider a field. We have fans in America. We have listeners in America, New Zealand, Australia. You might call it a different thing. We call it a Bell Mixer. Certainly in Stockport in the UK, we do. Yeah. Bell Mixer, what I mean is a mini a mini type of mixer. The orange. Um, the orange, little, little, little orange mixers, the electric ones, the diesel ones. Um, we... We were kind of talking the other day about how good they are and what what like, they're how, essential for you know for like that little, little job for little jobs they're essential yeah yeah go Andy right it's not just Bell that make them there's 
Steele, Sh- Shipak. When you say Steele, you mean still. Steel. Oh, sorry, Steele. Steel. Yeah. yeah. No, Charles Bentley, Dirty Pro. Have you heard of those? No. 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 And Hyundai. Hyundai maker. Hyundai make them. Portable electric mixers. Yeah. Um, 240 or 110. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got some specifications. Read them here, out, so Andy. You know, read them out. This read them is out. How they make it. Also, the designed, well, the bell ones, but we'll just call them mixers. Yeah. They can go through standard doorway. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. So if you think about it, if you can't get through to the back, yeah. you can just wheel them. Well, that's, that's probably an issue for yeah. you. And it, yeah. You can wheel them through a 762 opening. Oh, yeah. Um, the drum capacity is 130 litres, <laughs> but the mixing is 90 litres. So that's basically, if you're doing a concrete mix, it's two bags of stone, one bag of sand and half a cement. Yeah. Oh, it's like a six to one, five, yeah, yeah. five to one for, for mortar. Uh, and the noise level is 107 decibels. Love it. But uh, but the, the part where you get permanent hearing loss if you're too far, too close to it is about 95. So always wear... I think I've got that. Somewhere. Because I, I have really defenders. bad tinnitus and I think I've yeah. got that from... from so always wear a bit of some plugs or something when you've, if you're using it constantly. Yeah. Um, I love that. Just... So to jump in, have you got more? But, oh, I've got loads. Yeah, so I'll just jump in for a second. Um, go, go, imagine a world, imagine a world right now in construction without that mixer. Yeah, for like little jobs or Just extensions. imagine it right now. You're, you're knackered. It's, it's perfect. It's fantastic. Yeah. Imagine it, everything mixed by hand. Yeah. Imagine that for a starters. Or, or dumped on a, on a, in, in tub form or whatever. Yeah. You know, can you imagine not having the uh, the ability to just put all the aggregate together and mix it all in yeah, one? Just little... do a mix. It takes you forever. I mean, we've, we've all done board mixing, and it takes you forever. Yeah, it's probably up there with one of the best tools Amazing. ever, ever it invented is. or made for uh, for, for ground workers and for bridges. Yeah, I'll get. It's, yeah, it is up there. It is because Danny will say the nail gun. gun. No, but if you look at what that saves, like physical. Yeah, that is a huge amount. Oh, it is a actually. Huge amount. Yeah, and, and also, time. What we say, we always measure a car in, can you get a mixer in the back? Yeah. It's a good car if you can get a mixer in the back. I've had a, mi- a bell mixer in in the back of a Nissan Qashqai. You'd say, yeah, fair enough, yeah. easy. Uh, Fiesta. Ford Son- Fiesta Son- is the Fiesta. best one. Because the beautiful thing about a, a mixer is the little ones, you can take the drum off. Yeah. yeah. You twist it the other way. And if you've got a stand... And not a lot of people know that. Yeah, you can, that's right, if you twist it the But you take way, the drum off. You can take it apart. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful tool. But I must say, as a labourer or past labourer, yeah, um, he's got to be cleaned properly. Oh yeah, because <laughs> this is my biggest problem. I've seen you if you if a, about stuff. Right, if a, a labour, I think labourers clean it better than brickies because if brickies are on their own just doing a quick mix, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I don't terrible. care. They don't care. I don't care. But that I, makes it I worse. wash my mixer out. I don't really wash it out properly. I just squirt a <laughs> hose pipe in it, turn it upside down, that, wash it out. That was terrible. I, it's terrible. It was, the, it was almost like another skin inside it. Yeah, of mortar. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. But you're right. Every time you borrow it, it comes back dead clean. <laughs> it's like it's like, it's like like lending Andy your car, but it comes back valid. Third, yeah, third. You're like, fucking get in there. You can use it whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. So when he says to me, can I borrow the mix? I'm like, yeah. of course you can. Anytime you want. No I've been, problem. I've been doing some concreting recently. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I know we always say about a few bricks are best to clean it out, but I think it's 20 mil limestone is the best way to, to clean it out. I'm getting, I'm getting really Slow particular. Insane. It's just this gravelly, it, sh- it mm, shaves it all sure out. About that. I'm not sure about that. I know you like the sound, I like the sound. That's like Any going more on. to... Oh, these, uh, right. Have you heard of the cement mixer shot? No. I found this out today. Do you know what it's made of? It's one part Bailey's or a similar Irish cream. Right, love that. And then it's one part lemon or lime juice. Now it separates. So say that again, Bailey's? Either a Bailey's or an Irish cream. Yeah. And it's then- Or it's Bailey's, because all the other Irish cream shit. Yeah, Bailey's is- the uh, What is it, uh, Ballykiss Angel or something in, in um, Aldi? Aldi, Ballycastle. yeah, Ballycastle. that's okay. <laughs> It's like, who the fuck buys that? Shit. Who buys that and drinks that? And, yeah. it, and by the way, my missus has bought it a few times and I'm like, all right, you drink that, I'll drink the Baileys then. <laughs> oh no, I want a Baileys. Yeah. Well, why are you buying that shit then? That's for guests. Yeah, <laughs> that's for guests. <laughs> yeah, that's for guests on the Christmas. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a baby Guinness? Let's do baby Guinness. Guinness. And everyone goes, yeah, it is baby Guinness. What the fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy. So Bailey. So it's just, it's simple. It's one part Bailey's and then one part lemon or lime juice. So it's not very alcoholic. It, it's not, but it separates and it curdles. And it, apparently if you, if you leave it for it, it can stick to your teeth like cement. Lemon. It gets a bit claggy. And it's called the... It's called the cement mixer. Cement mixer shot. Cement mixer shot. 
Right. Let's try that. Christmas. So about, they've learned something. You've got to try that, haven't we? So it makes a shot. I wonder how many people, if we send that, sort that clip out, we can get to have a cement and mix a shot. Oh yeah, and could we? Back could, we have, yeah. could we do an experiment where we have tried one out for can. the first time? Of course we Maybe can. Maybe on the twentieth episode. Why don't we do it on the twentieth episode? Right, cement right. mix a shot. Right, we'll write it down now. Solar the producers going, oh god, they're all going to be drunk. I um, know. It'd be a great episode. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of it. Get absolutely smashed. Get leathered. But I get absolutely get all sorts of stuff. All loads table. of shots on a table. Yeah. I, I don't like I shots, of, but the one I do good. like has got Bailey's in it, and that is a baby Guinness. I love a baby Guinness. Yeah, baby Guinness, great. Yeah. Right, go on, carry on, Andy. Uh, where was it up to now? Yeah, so it's a shot. It can be separated into two or three parts because you also get the stand as well, don't you? Which is something I don't like using. I know, I get I get that. I prefer having that. It's the more stands, maneuverable. I always felt it could be dangerous. Yeah. You know, I always remember Dad when I first started, he'd say like, if you tip that mixer and you lose control of it, before you know it, it'll be... 50 meters that way. Yeah, because it's just rolling. Because it'll just spin on its own off. Mm. Yeah. And it'll take everything in its wake. You, yeah. the dog, the cat, the wall that you've just built, everything. So the first thing you do is turn the power off. Yeah. But nobody <laughs> ever does. They just tip it. No, they don't. Do you know what I mean? Do they have battery powered? Makes oh. Uh, you know what? I've not done Ooh. that deeper research, but I oh. think it's got to be because of the power. They do petrol, don't they? I bet they, 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 oh, they I bet do. They, it'd have to be some serious battery. Do you remember... The old iron cast frame where you had to yeah. get them going. Yeah, the diesel one. They, they're virtually gone. Yeah. You actually, it's almost like a model yes, yeah, It's like the old yeah. cars when you have that's to get them wound up. That's, that's the same here. No. That's, yeah. that's how old do. I am. That's how, but these they two have them. massive though. Actually, the drum was 31 actually, when, years when ago. I, when I first lab, started laboring on, Dad was like 16. You didn't have silos, you had to do, you had to mix. Diesel yeah. mixer, so you'd start with the handle. You start with the handle. That was all sight. So you'd not only have to pull, twist that. Well, whack the oh, oh, but the drums were bigger. Mic. You'd have to, you'd have to start it with the handle. So okay. I say psych. Sorry, psych. Yeah, <laughs> start it with the handle. <laughs> for the for the listeners, are just not the mic. Start with the handle. How many times do you need to say start with the handle? I'll yeah. say it one more time. Start well, then with you, the handle. You, then you've got to. You had a, and at the, the same time, choke. You, you would have to you mess with the choke. Yeah, at the, choke same, at the exact same time. If you didn't do it at the exact right moment. It'd fail. But once it started, if you didn't pull the handle out, yes. the fucking handle would spin around. Whizzing around. Yeah, yeah. And that's a wrist breaker. Yeah. And, and that's, that's, then uh, the, 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 the black fucking diesel fumes are just yes. like, yeah. pumping out. No, that's, that's another thing you have yeah, to keep yeah, topping up. Getting it going. And, and also, you couldn't start it full. No, you couldn't. No. It's too heavy. So you had to it's start it empty. So Jack's just thinking, Jack's just thinking. Jack's just 25 looking at us. Going, what the hell's going what on here? What the fuck are these talking about? <laughs> in Victorian times. <laughs> no, it was, he was but like he was, that. Yeah. That's how much construction has silos. changed. Yeah. They didn't have silos, they didn't have forks when I yeah. started, you know, no. with my dad. This isn't that long ago. No, it's not. Because well, I, I remember, remember it. It's 31 years ago, I was 16, and there were, all of what we've just talked about was still there. Then. 33 for me, There yeah. was no health and safety. There was no high-vis jackets. <laughs> no. There was no hard hats. You had to walk No silo, no forks. You could still rip asbestos off. You could still when rip I was 19, off. 18, yeah. you could still rip off. You could smoke off. in pubs. <laughs> well, I remember that. You could, yeah. what else could you do? Um, uh, I mean, there was other things like you could get AIDS and shit like that, but yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> Drive without a license. You could go on Concord. Yeah. You could go on Concord. Concord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on Concord. Yeah. They're rebuilding something. They should do. Aren't they doing should something do. with Concord? I have not heard it. I've not heard anything about Concord. You couldn't, no. you know, there was, yeah. Uh, but, but. Um, right, here's one for When, Right, the bell, this is the Bell mixer, but I know, I know we're like advertising for Bell, but that first came about in the 1950s when a guy called Doug Blackhurst, he wanted to build his own house. Yeah. You know, and he couldn't, he wanted to mix his own mortar, but yeah. so he thought, this is ridiculous, you can't get like proper portable mixers. Yes. And he, that's how Bell got started. So what year was that? 19, in the 1950s. Beautiful. Mm. But the electric one, if I'm right, I might be have to check it up a, but in the UK, it was 1990 when the electric one came out. Fucking hell. But the electric portable one, because you can get 150 litres, but it's the standard's like 130. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the smaller but, one. So yeah. it's not that long yeah. ago that the electric yeah. mixer... My my first ever Bell mixer, this is this is a bit sad, this, but I don't care. I don't care. They're great. They're amazing. Uh, we, got, uh, we, we did 100,000 views on a clip about Saturday morning coffee, and all the comments are... 
um, Oh, who's give who's give dad who's give dad the budget to do a podcast? And, 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 um, uh, and, and, and loads of comments just saying riveting, riveting, riveting. Yeah, but they're still watching but it. But I love it because they're still yeah, watching they're still it. Watching yeah. it. Um, um, so yeah, it was a fair comment, though. It's a great coffee. I love. A it's coffee. a great coffee. What's a good coffee? Uh, the Saturday morning coffee that that yeah. clip got got absolutely yeah. slated, but but also loved in a weird sort of way. Yeah. Uh, I forgot my point. What was I going to say? Um, about oh, so my first about, mixer. Yeah, first so, mixer. So uh, I just started working for Anglian, building conservatory bases. And we went up to Maxfield and got it from the uh, uh, the big chain of building merchants, Jesus. Travis, Travis Perkins Travis. in Maxfield. Bought, bought it. Brand new. Brand new. Paid cash. Put it in the back of the van. Got to the job, and by the time I got to the job, I'd broken it because it had slipped and slided it across oh. in the van, and the wheel had broken and snapped oh. the, the thing to the wheel, and it never ever stayed on that wheel. No, I remember that. That we, wheel. I was Dad used off. to borrow that mixer all the yeah. time, yeah. and I had to wheel it on one wheel yeah. for it. Well, that's where it broke. That's because yeah, cause only broke. recently you've got a new one with two wheels. Yeah, it broke day one of me owning it. <laughs> day fucking one. Right, no, because it was almost someone. like you had to be a stunt driver with that. But you know, I've got, the... I've got form with that as well because. I once uh, phoned up Talk Sport and complained about junior football. Oh yeah, some yeah that's right. And I won. Um, I won call of the day. Yeah, you were famous. Two hundred and fifty pounds worth of Wix vouchers. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically famous. Yeah. No, not obviously not. No one ever fucking recognises me. But they recognise Danny and Andy <laughs> and recognize. Jack. But I don't get fucking recognised. <laughs> anyway, that's a different story. I don't want to be famous. Um, uh, please recognise me. No. <laughs> And um, so I, I won the £250 voucher for Talk Sport, bought a new house, not with a Talk Sport voucher, yeah. and I, I needed a new lawnmower. Bought a new lawnmower. The very first day I used it, it fuck, I fucking broke the grass uh, catching back part of it. Yeah, the, cat, the handle yeah. broke on it. Oh, the, the, the very first the fucking day. Yeah. Was you being heavy handed? Probably, yeah. But why is it always me? Because uh. <laughs> you like that, aren't it? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Brass is up here. <laughs> yeah, Go I've on. seen that. I've seen that happen. No, didn't didn't Dad break his lawnmower doing that? The grass was like that high, and he, I was watching him uh, pushing it into it. It's like <laughs> when we burn it out. When gonna... we moved, um, I've used chainsaws before. A few, quite a few oh, times. Love chainsaws. On roofs years ago. Um, everyone will be saying in the comments like, "Give me off far." So I was like, "Yeah, well." <laughs> It, they were just standard then. You just used them. And I, when we first moved in our house, it was nearly two two years ago. Next, a few days. Is it two, two years? Yeah, ago, it's August. Month, yeah. It was August, wasn't it? And um, I bought a chainsaw and went fucking mental in the back garden. Did you? Yeah, mental. What? Just chopped just everything chopped down. Everything down. Yeah. Brilliant. They are chopped, good though, chopped all this. Uh, all these lovely bushes. I remember Brenda came out the next door, the next door neighbour, and she was like, I can't believe all the birds oh. used to come and visit there. I was like, oh, Fuck the birds. And then it, like, <laughs> literally in the, the November, just burned everything. Brilliant. But got excited. Just on chainsaws, and I'm sorry we've hijacked your bell stuff, no, Andy, but just I'm on chainsaws, they're a, they're a tool that I love, but when I use it, and I've got one myself, it, it's, the only, it's the only tool that I use where I think, I'm dead. Here. I'm a bit scared of this. Yes, that's right. Though. Even that's when right. I use it, I'm still a bit no, like. You should be. That's respect. That's yeah, but, like, you're not but gonna... if it was a still saw, I'd start that up. No problem whatsoever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And just off, off I go, cutting whatever I'm cutting without, you know, just in my shorts. Said, Do you know what I mean? I but with, a, with a chainsaw, yeah. I'm a bit more like. Well, it's fucking it hell. Have your leg off, isn't it? it yeah. If this bastard jumps yeah. on me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, well, you've not got like a massive one. You've got like a. It's shortish. It's yeah, it's not like a huge. Big, it's pretty big. Yeah, but it's not like a. Well, going I don't through know what you're talking about here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not yeah. going through a red one. Gets no. the job done. No, no, it's about yeah. It's only about five hundred. Yeah. Um, the blade, but it, it's. It, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You you just got to be. I think you've got to overpower the chainsaw. You've got you've to be got the master to, of it. You've got to master it. <laughs> yeah. it's like a when lightsaber, really, isn't yeah, it? It's like a lightsaber. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, actually, can you imagine how good a lightsaber would be in construction? Amazing. You know, like for cutting, you could cut like, uh, well, like work tops with oh, it. Oh, shit, this, we've, we've over-ordered this eight before still. <laughs> don't, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but how many, how much damage, how many lads would be dicking around with Yeah. Can you imagine, so imagine the, them videos of where they don't get paid and they go berserk knocking things down. <laughs> imagine if one of them's got a fucking lightsaber. Yeah. 
they, they, they take out the whole entire house. <laughs> They're using it to light up the room when it's yeah. like painters and that. that like, I, see, I keep seeing these videos on TikTok. Can't pay, don't pay, take it away. Yeah. And, and it's in construction terms, not the bailiff terms, where they, if you don't get paid, they knock it down. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is with it, you never know the full story. No. And the full story could well be that they've done a shit job. I'm not saying they have, mm. but yeah. they've done a shit job and they're refusing to pay them. Yeah, mm. they, or they haven't finished what they mm. said they'd quoted oh, for. They have, exactly. They quoted could for. be anything. Or oh, they've doubled the price or whatever. So yeah. there's a lot. There's that. 50, 50. It could be the customer as well. Could be the customer. Yeah, you've you had know, that. You've got to have, yeah. you need, always need to have both sides. Have you ever seen that one in that, there's a guy in a garden and he's all flagged the new fencing and new gate, new side gate and it's beautiful. It all looks really good and he's smashing fuck out of it with a lump hammer and I mean going berserk. You're not going to pay me. I'll fucking smash it all up and he's smashing the lot up and there's a woman in the patio with Windows, like screaming, ah! <laughs> Clearly on the phone to her husband, he's gone mental, he's gone berserk. Like, I'll be over hey. the phone, the police. Hey. And and he's he's literally smashing the shit out of it. Mm. But talking about in a sense, so it gives builders a bad name as well because it, it, that scares pe people. Are scared no, of yeah, builders? Pay. Yeah, of course. Oh. Don't get somebody else unless you got the money. Of course, pay. I don't, don't, don't. I don't believe in physical don't violence on somebody else. No, but I, I know what I, you mean. I, I, I'll tell you what I do believe in. If you've stood there with the customer and the customer is happy, yes, pay me right now. Right now. Not yeah. tomorrow. Right now. Pay me right now. I agree. Well, I think, I, I've always yeah. agreed with that because I, I always, you always go back to any, most other industries. You, if someone wants payment, I, I'm always, if, like we're here today. If, if someone says, right, we want payment, we pay them now. Yeah. If that's what they want. And, and then however you do it, you just do it the way you should do it. What? And I, I you always get, sorry, Dan, you always get that. Oh, uh, uh, I can pay you tomorrow or I'll get I've got to get the cash out of the bank or <laughs> or, I've, or yeah or um, something's not funds haven't cleared yet or all sorts of bullshit yeah, over the years yeah. Yeah. there was that great one wasn't there with that guy in the uh, mini digger when he went into that he was working on a like oh, a hotel or something yeah, like a Premier Inn. Yeah, he drove in it he drove in it with yeah, the mini digger and yeah. smashed fuck out of it I, I mean yeah. it was over 500 quid yeah, I'm not sure. You see, he's going to get a prison sentence for that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah. Criminal damage not at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. I mean, the law in the UK basically is as soon as you apply it to that property, it becomes the owner, the owner's property, not yours. That's the law. I was talking to a family member who has recently got a job in a big supermarket. Yes. And she was saying, I was they're making a laugh saying, I've seen all these videos about people just running in and robbing him. She said, we just time to do it now. We just we've been told to stand back. Just leave them to it. Leave them to it. Let them take it. But that's like the, the tiny percent of idiots will go and. So, so, so they're told the staff are told to just leave them. Just let them do it. It's go meat, isn't it? They go stealing meat, don't they? Yeah, yeah uh, I've seen it a few blades, times in Hazel Grove. Stuff like that, coffee. Yeah, stuff like that. I've seen it a few times in it's the same ones, uh, shops in Hazel Grove. It's the same ones who do it. Of course it is. What well, have you seen? What where shops? Seen it? I've actually seen it. Yeah, I was what? I was once. <laughs> I was once walking into um, go outdoors. Go outdoors. And obviously it's the, there's an entrance and an exit. And I was walking into the entrance, obviously. And as I walked in, there was a guy behind the door waiting for someone to come in. And as I walked in, he ran out with like four jackets in his hand. <laughs> just fucking legged it. Mm. I saw that in something like that in Little Ones. Somebody ran out with like four leaf blowers. They had a, yeah. an, an offer on leaf blowers. Fair play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I saw something like that. There was a yeah. bloke who was in a spa and he had a basket and he was just going around filling stuff up. And then he had the basket filled up and then he just walked out, got on his bike and rode off. <laughs> yeah. oh. But all they'll, I, I think the reason why they let them do it is because what they'll end up doing is you'll walk into a shop and everything will just behind, be behind glass. Yeah. That, that's, you have to pay for your shopping before you actually just, you touch it. There are shops like that right now in, yeah. in certain parts. But it'll just Stop be like or? that everywhere. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where it will, in 10 years, that's what it will be. Well, there was one, one in America in, in Chicago. There's a big, massive superstore and the people went mad that they'd closed it. And they just said, well, stop robbing us all the time. Yeah. Mm. Says we, we can't make any money, so we've closed mm. the store down. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it's it's a it's kind of one of them things in life where, like Richard, I always remember Richard Maley got done for stealing sausages, didn't he, or something? <laughs> yeah, at the supermarket. Yeah, he got... Oh, well, yeah. it's alleged. No, no, he did. Oh, he did get... No, he, was, yeah, oh, he walked out with him or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah he walk, walked out with him, yeah. Sausages. No, I, I, I don't think there's any issue there. He got convicted, he got done I think. Right, he got done with it. He got done for it, yeah. But there's a few people that just do it and can't help themselves. And then obviously there's a few more like sort of more serious kind of career. But nowadays you, you just see fucking gangs of kids just yeah. going help them themselves. And not just that, us kids, by the way. that last? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll just get, um, it'll just end up 
See weird. them videos where they go in like it being taken away from everyone. Like yeah. Apple yeah. stores and just fucking taking yeah. all taking off the, the phones. Yeah. It? Yeah. But a lot of people are desperate, aren't they? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 They actually are. Well. But then yeah. it ends up it just ends up being something that's taken away from everyone. Yeah. You know, which is which isn't really fair on it on other people. Um just yeah. moving on to tools. Uh, sorry, moving on from the bell mixer to tools. So just one well, more thing about the bell mixer. Yeah. You're saying about like the chainsaw scares you, but I always think a mixer is always a little element of fear with the mixer. When you it, use yeah, the mixer. exactly. If it tips over, Especially with your hands and all that. If it tips over, yeah, or if you because you, you're mixing and you put, put a shovel in it and he gets caught, it's, it's not. always that always the awareness and it don't take. But then they see videos on YouTube of lads in it like a washing machine. Yeah, I mean, oh, they're yeah. just sat in it. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're yeah. brilliant. They are beautiful, aren't oh, they? The lads are like, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. When it was recently hot, there was a couple of videos of lads filling up a dumper truck with water and like. Yeah, breaking tipping, the water tipping over him, you know, because yeah. it was so hot. Um, Danny, you had something to tell us about a Milwaukee tool. Mm. I did. So I've never seen this before. So I went in my job, I do went out to see somebody who's a joiner, very good joiner, um, good lad. And when we first arrived, I said, Hey, a lot of your uh, a lot of your stuff, I keep getting keep need to go that closer to the mic, don't I? Um, I said, Oh, you. You know, he was, he was he was a bit older than me, so he'd been doing it a long time. And I said, oh, you oh you're 40, so how old was he? Uh, yeah, 41. 41, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. You know, yeah. He was a cracking lad, uh, but I said, he got some new gear, eh? And he said, yeah, yeah. He said, okay, now, he said about three weeks ago, all my gear got nicked. Oh, Every bastards. Nicked. So he had Makita this and all, you know, all the gear. And joiners, I've not just saying this is great, oh, but some they have some stuff. expensive stuff. Yeah. And he said, I've spent three grand and it was all brand new stuff. Wow. And I was like, fucking hell, mate. I felt, you know, that is horrible. Yeah, it yeah. is. You don't make a trade yeah, it yeah. tools. Like, that's the lively, you know, they just, yeah. I felt sorry for him, but he was all right and he was back on his track and that. And then, um, but the good side of this is he bought all this Milwaukee stuff. Now, I've seen Milwaukee before, great, great brand, great, great tools, good, good stuff, good, good batteries, actually. For Shout the, out to Milwaukee. Shout out for Milwaukee. Any free source? <laughs> I have never seen this. Now, someone might comment and go, this is about to spin out for ages. I've never seen it. His drills were connected to his phone. If they get robbed, he can disable the drill. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I've not that heard of that That is beautiful. One. I have not heard of that. He can disable all That the must tools. be really just coming. in. So what? Why? Why? So on, on, yeah. So on his drills and his, his multi-tool and his circular saw and other stuff, they basically... You know, you've got your battery and yeah, tell yeah, you how yeah. much battery level is. There's a Wi-Fi signal. He went, watch this. So it's all, all his tools are connected to his phone on an app. And then if they go out a certain distance... Oh, beautiful. ...then it'll disable his tools. So what he can also do is he can leave them in the room. Yeah. Say if he's going through, to his van or dinner, no one can use them. So you can't, kids can't use them. So he can turn them off. He can turn them off, but leave them there and they can't hurt anyone. Wow. But also the main thing is the tract... So oh, yeah. now they need the battery in him to track, but as soon as you put any other battery in or anything, all is, so if he, he gets pinched, he can just track exactly where his tools are. Oh, that's now, a... I've seen that with phones. We've all seen that yeah. with oh. iPads and yeah. laptops and whatever, cars. I've never seen it with a drill. How cool is that? Unbelievable. That is awesome. That's what construction needs. Yeah, because yeah, it just stops. Mm. Literally mean, everything. It's not, it's not worth them taking it. The level of tool theft in this country, by the way, is absolutely astronomical you know, vans being broken into. Yeah. And it's not just construction vans, but obviously a lot of them are construction vans, but lots of different types of vans having the, you know, they're trying to upgrade their security. Every new model that comes out is trying something new, trying this, trying that. But um, ultimately, you know, if you've got a tin opener type yeah. scenario, you can get inside that van. Mm. So a lot of people now have the lock boxes inside, a, inside the van, yeah. the lock van. Yeah. I was... Believe it or not, I was talking to a lady today who uh, manages a construction, multiple construction teams across the UK that stay in hotels. And the issue they have is that the hotels, car parks, are never secure. Yeah. So a lot of the hotels, yeah, yeah. they get done. Get done over. Yeah, in and it's four or five vans in one hotel car park Gross. at one time. Yeah. yeah. And she was saying, if the hotels or a hotel chain in the UK just started a secure parking for for tools so for yeah. for construction workers or people on on the job on in industry that kind of want to leave the van safe at night yeah they'd they'd clean up she reckons it's a good shout that's a really good because shout. of the amount of uh, tool theft I, 
the, the last van I used to drive for a company was, it was for for materials and stuff but on the side of it was like a sign up it was an old sign up van yeah and i think it never got broken into because people thought oh it's just like a desk and a few chairs or something in there. yeah yeah there's nothing in there but when sometimes there was loads of stuff in there yeah i know what you mean yeah yeah it's the risk isn't it it's yeah it's it, it it's an it's an hour to your day yeah well it's two hours because if you don't leave your tools in your van you've got to take them out of your house that can be your right your job if you... and then when you get home at night you've got to take them all oh, back the right job I mean, so if you're a joiner or an other. electrician or whatever a plumber you've got all sorts of tools that so, you, you so you, you're a construction worker you get home from work at night do you take the tools out of your van or, or if not you're knackered, if you're shattered that's, that's you, what I'm saying oh, it'll be alright tonight it'll be alright of course it does you live, well, you like, does. You live in yeah. like a terraced house in Terry Street fucking that you 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 are carting them around the back of the alleyway or through the yeah. Alley. If you've got a, a detached house or you've got a garage, fan, yeah. but then your garage could get robbed. Yeah, he, he's well. I remember shit. dad. Dad used to back the van right up to the garage. Yeah, he did. It? So neither you couldn't get, get in at the side yeah. of the van. Yeah. So yeah, he'd have it yeah. sorted but that way. Yeah. It's rife in the UK. It is. It's absolutely rife, and it's 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 shocking actually. I think we'll, we'll probably try and do some some decent stats on that. Yeah. Maybe for one episode. Mm. But um, I don't even lock my car. Are you not, Danny? <laughs> Nope. Well, there's nothing in it, have you? Thank you God nobody knows where you live then. <laughs> he's listening to yeah, but he's nothing in it, is he? You can take it. <laughs> Shit. My car, <laughs> my car has been broken into loads of times yeah. over the years. And I mean loads of times. Easy 10 times. Yeah. Easily. I've, I've often, when I lived when I lived in uh, Edgeley in Stockport, I'll say the place I don't mind. I love Edgeley, by the way. But when I lived in Edgeley, I'd come down and my car be broken into, been rifled through. But nothing had, nothing had been gone because I'd never left anything in there, mm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm. But um, lo load, loads of times. Well, I've got a years. couple of CDs in, in the car I'm driving at the moment. The antiques. You man. have CDs in your car? They're not mine. Who has CDs they're, they're in the antiques. car? Antiques. They're, they're antiques. CD. Yeah. What CDs are they? Uh, Motown. Motown. Yeah. Greatest hit. Oh, that's, that's not bad. To be honest, some bang I put it on the other day. Some bangers on there. sick of the radio and I was like, do you know what? It started with, um, oh, what's that? Uh, Love Train. Oh, Jay. I like yeah. it. Right. Andy, did you have something to say about Egyptian pyramids? Oh, that was it. Just something I heard, you know, I need to do my research, just came to me the other day before. They're thinking that there might be another way of, the, they built the pyramids to do with hydraulics, but not with like modern, but just water. Water. Well, basically water, that they had, they managed to divert the Nile into canals close to the pyramids. Andy always think. tries to get pyramids into each episode. I do like the pyramids. Yeah. yeah. Hey, interesting theory. Well, you think though, if you, it's like canals, if you get your pressures right, and it's not, Absolutely. all you've got to do is you know, um, coat the walls in something that's waterproof. You know, they should be, they could yeah. have figured mud anything in the Nile and you could get your pressures mm. right. You're, you, you think it's aliens, don't you? Well, did the aliens um. create the Nile? <laughs> so, so to get the water there? Well, you know. No, because they, they found um, evidence of like riverbeds and stuff closer to the actual pyramids than they thought. Mm. Brick tinting. Brick, brick tinting. 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 Have you ever heard of that? Do you mean like colouring, colouring in brick yeah. to make it match? Do you know the extension near the shops on the estate where we live? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know which one I'm referring to? I do. Yeah. Very weird, thin drive, one. Drive past it to tomorrow. You'll be amazed. What, they've tinted it? It, it was built out of totally con contrasting brick. Yeah. It was built like, like bright orangey brick and it was completely different from the house brick. You mean the one next to the co-op? Exactly that one, yeah. It's a fucking weird extension. Yeah, it is. It's really bizarre. It is, next Let's, to the garage. I don't want to go into too much details with it, obviously, if you know what I mean. Oh, right, yeah. But but it is. It, it's a bizarre-shaped yeah. extension. Look at it tomorrow. What has it been? It's, they've had it coloured. They've had it tinted, coloured. It looks fantastic. It looks like it's been there. Dad had an idea about that 20 so, years ago. So ba basically it's Company the matching tinting. up of new brick to existing brick. So the, the, the extensions match. Yeah. And it looks amazing. Even Jack, Jack's unconstruction brain commented on it and mentioned it and sort of said, well. I thought my eyes, were, I, I couldn't make sense of it at first. Yeah. It's like, because it, it looked, it was totally, it, even, I saw it, it was a completely different, shade of yeah. brick it didn't match at all no. through the whole thing and then yeah. they've just sort of finished it from outside and now they've they've tinted it and it looks when you get really well, up close to it you can see it the, but from from afar it looks like it's always been there i'll drive us past tonight but okay. it, it, i like that they've just gone that extra mile just to but why not blend it in matching brick well it's hard though isn't it? especially with the it's probably cheaper it, it's yeah uh, yeah mm -hmm. fair play but it looks it honestly genuinely looks like it's been there 
Um, I mean, you know, you can drive around and see lots of extensions on buildings and think, oh my God, that looks completely out of place. Yeah, actually, have we ever talked about this on site for, for brickies in particular? Is about you get s- certain types of brick, that, but some packs can be different, da- darker hues. Absolutely. And it's always that skill of, of um, blending in the pack. Well, you should really, you should you really blend work in about four about packs. Three or four packs. packs. Yeah, I remember doing yeah. that with Dad. Absolutely. Blending correct. in the pack. If, if you're working on a house, you new get bands or extension, around. you should work you should out, blend. out of about three or four packs yeah. simultaneously. Yeah, blend Not them in. one pack, then the second pack, then the third. Because if you do that, the bricks will not match. See, I get time. that with bricks because of how they're made. Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't understand that with wallpaper. Yeah. Does it happen a lot with wallpaper? Yeah, yeah. you can have the same colour wallpaper, but different batch numbers, so the shade's slightly Yeah. Different. How the fuck does that happen? Danny's monthly attack on painting and decorators. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know what, that's a I weird one. I with bricks because of the heat, and it's different temperatures and the weather conditions, but how the fuck does it happen with a print? No, because we, we work the through it. I know this is. The paper is the same. If, the, if you print that booklet, it's the same a thousand times. Yeah. Why does it happen with wallpaper? Yeah, I'm not Why really. Do you have batches. Yeah, I'm not. Never really been a big fan of wallpaper. Uh, I always remember mum and dad having that anaglypta. I remember like as a kid picking it, yeah. you know, like the foamy wallpaper. <laughs> After it was nearly. And my dad put had on. come in and like, who the fuck's been <laughs> picking <laughs> that? Oh, that no. That's spongy stuff, isn't it? It's almost yeah. like if you banged it, because your kids, maybe you banged your head against. Yeah, it, yeah. It's bad as the wall, or yeah. No, it's it's one of them sort of weird uh, sort of. I don't mind it in the right setting. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. I've totally gone blank. I've totally forgotten what I was going to mention then. Fucking hell, what's up with me tonight? It's not like me, this. Uh, shit. We can get into cleaning the mixer. No, no, I know it. what it was. Right, sorry, Sol, Mike, if whoever's editing, start again from now. Oh, that's just bad, this is the third time, second time. Should we just leave this in? Yeah, leave it in, just leave it in. Just leave it on. I leave never do this. I no, normally one take Dave. One take day. Normally. Don't leave that in. Normally. Leave that in. <laughs> leave, leave that in. in. One take leave day. It in. Fuck it. Leave it leave all, it all in. in. Who cares? All in. Leave, leave it all in. in. Don't add hills. Leave it in. Uh, apart from the bit where we did stop, stop. No, stop, stop, stop. In. Should we just leave that in as well? Leave it in. Yeah. More natural. Leave it in and just put that silence as a clip. <laughs> I'd say, I, I think, I'd say, say, if you thought coffee 200, was bad. 200,000 views. If you thought the coffee one was bad, watch <laughs> this. <laughs> to be fair. If you thought the coffee clip was mundane. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. I, I think we need to give Jack a, okay, Jack, Jack a chance in this episode because we've just totally... totally Sorry, Jack. Do you want to talk about anything? We've, we've, anything. We've, uh, we've aged you out of this episode, haven't we? Yeah. I've got some it's if you don't. It's the 40 but. Club. No, I can't really think of any... I've, I had some a while ago, but it's gone now. Is it gone? Are you sure you don't have anything? Oh, we'll just jump in. You know what? Yeah. Uh, I think we've got about eight, nine minutes left. Um, messy houses, working in messy houses. Oh, God. Um, my experience of working in messy houses was um, quite a harrowing one and quite a horrendous one. Way, way, way back in the day. Ross, if you're listening, I know you do listen to the podcast. Uh, you'll remember this house, but it, uh, it was a house in Stockport. That's all I'm willing to say for a lady who lived in Stockport on her own in this beautiful house in a beautiful area. And um, it was horrendous. She's, but six dogs lived there. She was some sort of hoarder. Uh, she's probably dead now, so I, I, I'm not too worried. Well, I won't say names anyway, but she slept in the bath because she couldn't get into a bedroom because it was full of... She slept in a bath. She slept in a bath. Yes, yeah, she honest to God slept in a bath. That is a true story, I promise you. And we we had the contract, the, the company I was working for at the time had the contract to like, you know, renovate the whole entire house, yeah. outside and inside, roof, walls, um, uh, sort of repointing, everything. And it was a big, beautiful house in its day, but it had been absolutely destroyed by this lady who'd lived there and um, kind of... Uh, had these six or seven dogs that also lived inside the house as well that never went outside. So you can imagine the state of it and the smell of it. I mean, it was just horrific. Um, uh, there's a few things that I would like to say that I don't think is really appropriate really about where she went to the toilet and stuff like that, but she didn't use the toilet to go to the toilet. It was, yeah, it was just incredible. But so it's like the worst jobs that anybody's worked so on. So like. you're just sort of thinking about the worst. I think you've got one, haven't you, Dan, that you've, you've yeah, visited? Yeah, I've visited one and it was I've I've never been it it was fucking disgusting it was just horrible like yeah. the, the cleanest room in the, on the in the building was the, was where the person was working 
Yeah, Jesus. It was full of dust. And, and they'd cleaned that room, I presume, to work in that. Yeah, he basically, yeah. he'd clean the room. To work in To that. work in it, to chop up all his timbers and whatever and everything else. <laughs> he cleaned it to work, to, to create dust. He cleaned it. Yeah, I know. So how mean. much, ba- how bad would it have been? Oh, yeah. Shocking. And it was just horrendous, but it's, it sort of leads me on to, I understand when you work in someone's house, it, it, I get it, like it is their house, but... When you invite somebody into your house to do a job and you say you've got to do it in that space, clear that fucking space. Clear yeah. it, I know, yeah. Because it's not their job or their responsibility to no. sort that out. To move your carpet or move you know, your furniture. When I, have, when I have, like, I don't know, if you had rare ice in this, Sky people came around a few months back. I moved everything out of the way so it was just the box. Yeah. The TV out of the way, everything, so they could get to everything. Done. Yeah. Like, when the carpet guy comes around, I yes. move everything out of the room. Yeah. Everything. I've talked to yeah. a few carpet guys. You know, and they just appreciate they're there to do yeah. a job. They're there, they're yeah. there to get paid to do a job. They just didn't not to piss around yeah. moving your picture frames yeah. or your bags of shit. So I I just I don't get it. Yeah. I, I don't understand when you invite someone around to your house. Move everything. Well, when you work in a dirty house, and we'll call her let's call her Joan. Joan. The lady whose house like we worked in. Uh changed the name obviously. But we worked in Joan's house and um She'd, she'd, she'd offer to make us a brew and we'd never say no, but we'd never drink it. Yeah. Never, ever, ever drink it. We'd always throw it away. Mm. It was, it was, you felt like Dirty. you were cr- being, it was, you were crawling when you came out of the house and that, mm. uh, no, no, no exaggeration in the summertime as well. It was fucking awful. Yeah. If ever, do you ever remember that documentary, Mr. Trebus? It's a famous documentary yeah, about vaguely. hoarding in London. Yeah. It was that house. because no, the walls were collapsing. It was literally that house that I worked they, in. Because of all the stuff. Yeah. It was literally that house. Some people don't give a shit about their houses though. Some people just don't, don't care. Yeah. Some people are really house proud and clean everything. And, you know, they can live in the, the, the smallest house or the smallest flat in the world or the largest house in the world. Some people are, are filthy pigs. And other people, it's a psychological issue, I think. Yeah, it mm. is. I do get that. I just don't get it when you then invite somebody around to do work on your house. Yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah. I'll, I'll quote, ask him to quote yeah, for work. I remember walking in a house once, said, oh, uh, we're having all the skirting boards replacing. There's fucking sofas everywhere. <laughs> right. And are like, you going to shift them everywhere. all out? Yeah. And they were like, right. Well, the, the, the old one's ripping out and the new one's putting in. They're like, oh, can't you work Can't round? you just move, move that? <laughs> you fucking work around them. I know. Fucking move everything. I know. I walked out. Did you? Walked out. It was pretty comfortable. It wasn't my own job. Walked out and then the, the, the company manager said, oh, no, it's got to be done today. So I said, well, time to move everything then. I'm not fucking moving it. Yeah, it should be part of the job, that. It should be clear. Move it all. Unless you put a price in for moving stuff for yeah. them. Yeah. I said, I'll be here till six o'clock. Well, it's got to be done today because we've got this job. I said, well, get someone around it. <laughs> to move fucking it. move everything then. Yeah. And then I'll fucking do it. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> um, I've, we're pretty much almost done. Um, just want to mention that obviously our next episode will be episode 20. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do for that. Maybe something special, maybe. Maybe. Not quite. Any ideas? Uh, We've already said about some shots. Get pissed. Should we just get pissed? Get really pissed on it. <laughs> and then just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. It might don't be have a script. Don't, well, we don't have a script anyway. Don't do really we don't really do anything. Just don't, just get like, get a couple of drinks, a couple of bottles, a bottle of red wine. Should we get some red wine for the next episode? Red wine. Should we, we, get, should we get Mike on as well? Prosecco. Bottle yeah, second. we get Mike on and Jack and... Prosecco. No. I don't know. Just no. Yeah, any ideas for the 20th episode? Leathered. And then just le- just leave it filming. What have you not done? And what have you not talked about? Have you talked about roofers? Doing, putting a roof on? We talk, we've talked about everything, but, but there's always stuff to talk about because we don't just, you know, moving forward into season three, we're not just going to talk about construction. We're going to move it to all sorts of different stuff. Mm. Do you want to do another Ancient Monuments one? Enjoy yeah, definitely, that. definitely. I like doing that one. Yeah, definitely. That was a good one. Ancient cities. Ancient, ancient cities. cities. Yeah. That's a good shout. Ancient cities. Yeah. yeah. Talking of ancient cities, I'm going to uh, Girona on Saturday. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, Girona. I, my Bologna. Have you seen that? By the way, Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. What a film. It's brilliant. Oh, is that Daniel Radcliffe? Yeah. What it's a really film. Good. Is he worth a watch? Yeah, it's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's brilliant. Because, I mean, he's been around forever, Weird Al. Yeah, I remember him as a kid. Yeah. yeah. Daniel Radcliffe is brilliant. Superb, isn't it? What, what's it on? Is it on Sky? Uh, Disney. 
Oh, brilliant. Disney. It is very, very Watch it, Andy. Weird Al Yankovic. Watch right. it. It's watch really it, good. Yeah. In fact, I forced Jack to watch a scene the other night because it's really good. There's a pool party scene which is based solely on the scene from uh, Boogie, Nights. Boogie Nights, the pool party thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, that pool party scene in Al Yankovic <laughs> is based off that scene in yeah, Boogie Nights. Heather Graham. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Roller girl. girl. Oh, Roller yeah. girl. Yeah. Fucking hell. What a film that is, anyway. It's a great film. Anyway, anyway, I've anyway. I've got just one more detail. Yeah, go on. About the first actual proper solid concrete mixer, you know, like a wagon. Yes. Uh, it was created in Germany, in Breslau, in 1905. Four, 1904. Concrete wagon. Yeah, probably that was the first proper concrete wagon. Well, no surprise that the fucking Germans created a concrete wagon, really, isn't no. it? All the <laughs> no. concrete they were pouring. Yeah, I mean, that's second you know what world I mean? War. They had to build lots of concentration camps, didn't they? And the, well, lots of fortifications as well. Lots of fortifications, lots of yeah. concentration camps. But yeah, and lots of, uh, yeah, I mean, we could go into real detail about that. I mean, actually, it's historical fact, so I don't know why I'm worried about talking about it. It's mm. a fact. Anyway, I think we could get into concrete. Couldn't we? Like China, China have poured more concrete, haven't they? Was it? Oh, they've poured fucking more concrete than uh, everybody yeah, in loving it, aren't they? Hoover Dam. All the oh, that's it. All the Hoover Dam. All, all the Romans did in a thousand yeah. years or something. I don't yeah. Uh, all for another episode. Right. Uh, Andy, Jack, Danny, thank you very much. Um, I think that's pretty much us for this episode. So next episode is going to be episode twenty. Going to try and get it done in the next four or five weeks and wrap up season two uh thank you for watching thank you for listening and uh we'll see you on the next one nice one